Good morning. <laughs> I am just back from my antigen test and I'm going back to the hotel now to grab my bags because I need to get to the airport early uh, just because I anticipate some kind of just delay I suppose in you know my airline understanding that I'm getting this visa that's allowing me to go but we'll get there. I've given myself plenty of time. Um, I don't think I slept a week of sleep. <laughs> um, I'm so excited and I'm just so ready for this. Uh, I'm trying to think where I'm going. Oh yeah, down here. Um, I'm just so ready for this. I have been months, months in preparation. Um, yeah, just the last few days I've just been pack, 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 pack and seeing everybody and saying goodbye. Everyone is so happy for me and just like, just so proud of me, which is like unreal. And I'm so just ready to start something new. And yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to repeat myself now otherwise. But uh, this is it. This is it. I am so ready. I, nothing ever felt so right before like it does right now. Um, it's terrifying, but we'll get there. I'll see you on the flip side. What a wonderful This is so strange. Um, I was so surprised by how easy the US clearance was. Um, obviously you need to have all your documents ready, but yeah, went, like easy, easy breezy. So yeah, um, also I've never vlogged before, so this is a bit strange, but like I want my future kids to be like, go mom, go to America to chase your dreams, go do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a bit, this is a little strange, but I'm so excited. <laughs> um, had a full Irish breakfast and a West Coast cooler. Uh, I never buy drink at the airport and I have two full bottles of Baileys ready to go onto the plane. Not to drink on the plane, but you know, enjoy after. And yeah, here we go. makeshift bed uh, this evening that's gonna be funny and uh, yeah thank god for air conditioning it's absolutely boiling here anyway Whew. dead all right all our bags are here good morning i am just up from sleeping on my comfy yoga mat bed from last night I had a puffer jacket, um, two blankets, a towel, scarf, and a knitted vest um, as my bed. So yeah, it was um, an experience, to say the least. But we keep going, it's all good. Hopefully my mattress comes today, I hope. I don't wanna do two nights on that. <laughs> but look, you have to make do with what you have and 
I'm just so grateful to even be here. Never mind. Have, you know, a luxurious bed or whatever. But yeah, um, today's plan is to get up, to get ready. I've been up since five. Um, <clears throat> because I went to sleep around eight. I was shattered. So I just know my body clock is going to be haywire. But you know what? I'm actually glad to be up again. Like to be wide awake earlier than later in the day. That'd be harder to adjust to. So I might do. And um, yeah, going to go to going to go thrift shopping and try and get as much furniture secondhand. Um, because you know hashtag sustainable. Um, but also like hashtag I'm a student again. <laughs> That's the weirdest part, is not having a wage coming in every day, or every week. Jeez, I wish it was every day. Every two weeks, actually. Um, that is probably going to be one of the biggest adjust adjustments for me, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, thrift shopping, I'm definitely going to go walk around the campus today, and I'll take you along with me, because um, I'm just so excited to see it. Like, if it's anything... From what I remember, what Notre Dame was um, in Indiana when I was there, it's gonna be massive. Like these universities are just huge. Like I've been to UCD, I've been to UL, I studied in Mary I, so that's that doesn't even really count as a <laughs> as a campus. But like this, these are whole new levels of like size. Of universities so I'm so excited to see it um, I'm gonna try to find my building that I need to go to next week and yeah I'm so excited the heat here is actually unnatural it gets so hot like I remember just coming out of the airport yesterday and I was like oh dear god like I got on the plane with, with my trench coat my hoodie and like sweatpants I nearly melted like nearly melted but I'll be more appropriately dressed today and I'll be just chilling for the day anyway so it'll be fine um, I'm just so glad to have all the bags all 20 million bags I brought uh, to be in my apartment now um, they are have they have officially exploded in my bedroom here I don't really want to show you um, it's yeah it's kind of bad but I'll get it sorted it's just that like I'm just trying to sort everything out We'll get there but yeah it was just so nice to just be able to like put all of like my toiletries into the, the presses and all my bits and pieces that like irish chocolate and lion's tea bags because lion's is the best tea and yeah being able to put those into the presses and like kind of feel like oh i'm officially here now it's so cool um so yeah that's my plan and I never really know what to do at the end of these things because I'm just like, uh, chat to you in the next video. No, I'm not like that. I was going to curse there, but I won't curse. I'll be good. But yeah, this is weird. Yesterday I was just way too tired, way too stressed um, to even get you through um, what I got in the thrift store in Goodwills. Um, but I hit the jackpot, I really did. Um, we're trying to keep our apartment as minimal as possible um, to be just easy on our money and easy just, I just don't want to be buying new furniture or anything like that just for the environment because this is all temporary um we're only here for two years so what's the point in you know buying fabulous new furniture just to literally make it look nice on instagram couldn't be bothered um but i am trying to you know keep things nice and aesthetic as much as i can on a budget um but yeah yesterday i got a full dining set as in table and six chairs for fifty dollars yeah fifty dollars um, this is it here. Um, <laughs> this whole situation has to be sorted out. 
Um, I'm going to Home Depot now to get this screwdriver. Um, but yeah, really like solid, decent chairs. Um, they actually have a green um, kind of leathery look on them. So um, I kind of like that because green is like the color of the season these days. In here, <laughs> it's so dismal. It's dismal. Um, so yeah, I have loads of little bits to, to get today. Again, I want to keep things as you know, as cheap as possible, but there are no more secondhand shops around here. It's like a real small, like kind of college town, so there's not there's not much to choose from. Um, so I'm gonna go to probably Home Depot today and just pick up the bare minimum that I need, especially like my bathroom and things, um, and just pick up utensils so I can actually cook something for once because, oh my God, buying on Uber Eats is eating up my money. My next project trying to get this thrifted table and chairs set up. actually wasn't that hard at all um it was just getting the lights on the, the, it's just the actual table weighed a ton um and it's extendable which is amazing but here we are this is the entrance in and this door here is kind of like a closet so i currently have all my bags tucked in there um i just have like supplies you know like toilet paper and um my sweeping brush and mop and my uh, coats are in there too and shopping bags that are my ones not just plastic ones so when you close that over you kind of enter straight away into the kitchen and living area and there's my pride and joy my table and six chairs this is kind of the living area um so i would like to put a couch here um eventually if we find one <laughs> um we're gonna not try to spend money on that if we can so this is the patio and um it's really nice outside there's no furniture or anything out there but yeah happy out with it and if we turn around then we have our kitchen which is absolutely gorgeous like i love it I'm just turning on the light i absolutely love this kitchen <laughs> Um, it's like quartz uh, worktops and I want to keep it as flush and clean as possible. Um, just I don't want to see clutter except for like obviously my cup of coffee here right now. Um, and my kettle and of course the Lions tea bags. They get to stay out. That's about it. Um, so yeah, all my presses have, they've actually filled up fairly quickly. <laughs> Doesn't take long to, you know, get a few bits and and I've kept it to a minimum really and truly like um I literally have two knives, two forks, two spoons. Now I have these bits and pieces. That was a bit of a stupid buy because I bought Kerrygold butter or butter a Kerrygold cheese and it's in the block and I never normally buy blocks. Um I will probably be going more for back to the grated because that's just hassle, pure hassle. <laughs> Probably my most proud buys was my Delf and my glassware. Um, I brought my coffee cups with me from Ireland because like I wanted to get some and I just didn't want to go buy them again in on Amazon for like double the price that I was getting them in Ireland. So I bought these I think in either Lidl or Aldi, I'm not sure. Um, I've been using them during the summer as well and I absolutely love them. So I brought them with me. We have these uh, plates and bowls. Um, I got two of each 
and they're actually really nice they're like ivy trimmed got them in goodwill and i think they were 79 cent each got these in goodwill as well i love these i think they're very bougie tiktok iced coffee vibes and um, there's the other one of my coffee cup that's one from home and then my teapot because i obviously being from ireland tea is so important um i needed a good fine solid teapot it's actually like the tallest teapot i've ever seen <laughs> um so yeah i'll have fun making pots of tea when i have people come over also got two wine glasses and i don't think they were ever used like they're so perfect looking um 49 cent each 49 cent each so from home so like oh and i think the teapot was only like 2 time so absolute bargains and i'm so glad i did kind of just stick with um secondhand stuff just to be as sustainable as possible i got myself a bamboo or kind of a wooden clothes hanger or clothes drawer clothes horse jeez i don't know where it's together someday my fridge it's already full up um notice it, like you know tell me you're irish or show me why is this show me you're irish without telling me you're irish like <laughs> We got the goods. We got the goods. Here we go into the rest of my house. Um, absolutely no idea what any of this means. Um, doesn't matter. We have our little laundry area. Um, I'm gonna try and avoid using that dryer as much as I can uh, for two reasons. Obviously, you know, sustainability wise, um, using a dryer is not ideal. Sorry, I'm just doing another one. <sighs> Obviously using one of these constantly is not good for the environment. So that's why I got a clothes horse. Um, so I will be using that very sparingly. But also what I didn't like when I opened it and saw this. Hold on now. Like what? So I need to look up what that means. Um, that is kind of terrifying. So <laughs> avoiding avoiding at all costs um i bought this collapsible wash basket because i just thought it'd be so handy for just tucking away because i don't have loads of space in this place this is a guppy bag um so you look it says here stop micro waste um wash and care filter so you put like your polyester clothes in there um haven't got to use it yet um it's going to be mainly for like my gym gear um because they're the biggest contributors not the only contributors but like the biggest ones um for microplastics and microfiber waste so yeah that's gonna be i'll do my best to always remember to use that but like it's you know not gonna be hard on myself so this is my washing machine we don't use these kind of bones in ireland this is a bit mad but um came out fairly good now so far when i did use it so i was happy in here then is my bathroom um i won't be going through all my presses now but like you know <laughs> um had to buy that mask very very simple but like i love how clean it is um and just it's going to be easy to keep clean and that's my main thing i don't want to see anything there like <laughs> right and then finally here is my bedroom finally got my mattress i couldn't really um show this without it until now <laughs> a week sleeping on the floor um weirdly enough there's no light fixture on the roof here so i had to uh, get this lamp it's it is literally wonky um i got that in goodwill for like ten dollars or something i had to buy the bulb separately and i thought there was a lampshade with it but that was probably why it was in goodwill <laughs> um so yeah there's a switch on for that though to turn on and off so it's fine um and it does really like light up the room um got a nice window got air conditioning which is always the most important thing i'm loving my bougie uh, amazon uh box as my dresser for now and uh we've got a fat oak stall here i am uh, in the process of learning a few tunes i'm gonna try and improve my uh my repertoire of uh irish songs but uh right now it's hot cross buns um and then this is my our walk-in wardrobe that's why half of it hasn't been used i'll move those, I'll move those in, in before he comes but um that's my little house too it's very small i know but i love it and 
I think it's perfect for what we're trying to do here, um, which is just live in America um, as frugally um, and sustainably as possible. Like I think having a full kit of kitchen was obviously like amazing to get. So yeah, if you have any other questions about my little chuck, um, please ask away and yeah. What a wonderful world.